Warning, this game is rated M for Mature. There are sensitive topics, both of a sexual and violent nature, so viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, let me just quickly do this, because I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I should probably be recording uh, that, but oh well. Um, so what are we doing today? Hanged man. Uh, yeah, today's... Today's... Is it today or tomorrow? Hmm. You know? Today's a small day. At night, we're spending time not ranking anything up. And, uh... Hanged Man usually goes pretty fast. So, how about we actually do the, uh... The TV classroom today? Because I still have yet to do that. On the bright side, I don't need to worry about gear since I bought them way earlier when I first got access to a Nato. But also, I... I also don't need to worry about money soon. Dog is still a little wary of you, but it seems to have calmed down a little. Sorry, I put my uh, microphone a little bit closer because I noticed the audio was a bit low. What can you do to put it off guard? Uh, the dog ate what you gave it eh, without paying you any mind. Uh, the unfamiliar dog ran off. Seems to no longer be wary of you. Yeah, let's... The, the bubble was still there. Uh, so yeah. Okay, you're you're just the guy that's like all the way down there that you just oh, hi walked up here for some reason. Hey, Naoki. Uh, Naoki seems to have some free time. Spend time. Yes. Sure. It's okay. Uh, sorry about last time, I kept talking about all that nonsense. Kinda wanted to apologize for it. Dude, it's been like three months, just... It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> You're so strange. I thought you would hold a grudge. You don't distance yourself from... from me like everyone else, or preach to me like you know everything. <laughs> you know, I feel kinda comfortable around you. Now okay, looks a bit happy. You know? I like cream puffs. I know, it's kind of girlish. There's a good cream puff shop by our house, so every once in a while I'll just buy some and take them home. If I put them in the fridge, sis would eat them. She'd make up some lame excuse like, I ate them for you since they were about to expire. So we'd always get in the fights over the cream puffs. But now the cream puffs don't disappear. I bought some and they expired in the fridge. When I saw that, I thought, oh, um, maybe, maybe Sis isn't here anymore, you know? Dang. That's harsh. And like, just the other day we were talking about like, uh, was it literally yesterday? No, it was the day before that. We were talking about, um, the Death Arcana around rank 7 as well. Yeah, that stuff's gotta be a bit heavy. So I threw them away. I told you before, if you ask me if I hate the killer, the answer is no. The truth is, it's not even a no. I don't know anything. I have a meaningless daily life. Just confused in a dark house, just rotting cream puffs. How do I get out from that? What would be best for me, for sis? I just don't know. Maybe you should take the reins, you know? 
I know. Naoki sighed and nodded. <sighs> I know I'm stagnating. It's not good. I know that I need the move. I know that... You quietly listen to Naoki's worries. feel like you're able to support him. So just like a few days ago when I was talking about a uh, death, um, the difference between hanged man and death is sort of the, it's not even really the, the like, the actual like thing that's around it. It's more that hanged man is about lingering regret, you know? And I've always found that kind of interesting that like, even though like, uh, the Death and Hanged Man cards are kind of similar in this one. They're different, you know. Uh, Naoki is more of the depressed feeling about moving on. And Death is more about coming to terms that you as well will reach this fate, you know. Or like... It's... I don't know, I feel it's more of, like, passive to the action and active to the action, you know? I don't know. Like, sometimes I wish I was a little bit more knowledgeable about, like, philosophy and sociology and psychology and all that type of stuff, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, I'm not. <laughs> I am not knowledgeable about a lot of things, you know? Naoki's social link has reached level 7. Hmm. Now come to think about it, sometimes Sis would just bring cream puffs back from her job at Juness. We would eat them and complain that Juness branded tasted bad. Sis looks like she was having a hard time working at Juness. But she said it would eventually be for the sake of her store. She'd play around, but sometimes she acted like the eldest sibling. Which always irked me. Um, next time, will you go to Jeunesse with me? I'd like to check it out myself. I promise to go with Ju um, to Jeunesse with Naoki next time. I'll see you again. Yeah. Again, no time at all. You could work as a tutor today. Yeah, we'll probably be doing that. Okay. Heading upstairs so I can check to see if I got like a phone call. Nope. Uh. Huh. Either way, let's do classroom. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, we got that uh, animation from last time. I was like, why is there a little thing? It's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Everyone loves Jungian psychology. Lesson 8. Hello there, everyone. It's time for Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Everyone loves Jungian psychology. The invitation to you that you don't know. Before you know it, here's the 8th installment. Psychological types for beginners. I'll make sure to ask questions that don't violate any doctor-patient confidentiality laws. <laughs> Uh, well, let's begin class. Tenkiro, Shuchikiro, Hapukiro. I know the lesson's just beginning, but it's time for a question. Use the buttons in front of you to answer. Right now, what do you think you need to do with regards to your life? Uh, I guess learn more about myself? Oh, I see. Plus, we have another question. Just use your imagination. Say you're going to go see an art unveiling at an exhibit of incredible paintings. This particular painting is one that no one has ever seen yet. The moment you see this painting, which of these do you think your mind is going to go to first? Whether whether or not I like it, figure out what it means, try to see what it looks like, get inspiration from it. 
man. That is so interesting. Like, this type of personality is really interesting because it feels like that you would go up to the piece of art and you go, there's a chance I might not like this. Co um, curtain goes down. I do not like this, just as I thought. Then turn around and it's like, I don't know. Figure out what it means and get inspiration from it. Like, like at, at a time it's like very artsy way of looking. I was like, it's like, hmm, yes, that shade of black. I was like, no. I was like, ah, you could see by the, uh, by the way they composed it, they were going through this emotional trauma. <laughs> you know, like stuff like that has always been kind of annoying to me. I would usually try to see what it actually is. All right, that's all I need. I'm done with the questions. Still, it's hard to come up with gimmicks in such a low budget. Still, that's the fate of public access TV. Uh, I'm sure some of you have figured it out by now, but I ask you those questions to find out what type of mind you have. It's like those uh, commonly found personality tests that are all online. In fact, you could say that this method was of categorizing people's minds itself was made known by Young. He is the original personality tester. That was a weird way of saying that. So today's lesson is the psychological types Young used to categorize people. He thought that two aspects were useful in the categorizing of the mind. First is the direction um, of the mind energy faces, and the other is the way that the mind functions. It may sound a bit confusing, so allow me to expound upon them. Oh, you want to know the results of the personality shots I gave you? I haven't forgotten about them, but let's wait until after the lesson. First one, I thought about the direction of mind energy. People's interest either face outwards or inwards. Or you could be inclined or interested to, to think of the outside world, or do you tend to think internally? That's the difference. Have you ever heard the term extroverted or introverted? This actually comes from Jung's theory about personalities. An extrovert likes to talk to people and strives to learn about the latest fads. Conversely, introverts like time by themselves and approach new ideas with caution. The second subject used to categorize the mind is the way that the mind functions. This basically is, what will a person's mind do when interacting with something? Jung split the results into four basic categories. These are the psychological functions. It is impossible to explain all of these in this lesson, but I'll, I'll give it a try. Technical, in technical terms, the four are the feeling, the thinking, the sensation, and the int intuition. To simplify them, when a person sees something, deciding whether or not he hates it is feeling. You know, they get a grasp on it. Trying to reason about it is thinking. Trying to perceive it through shape and color is sensation. And connecting it to other conscious thoughts is intuition. Still too difficult? Now let me give you an example. Say for a moment, I have a piece of bread. I like it. I want one. Would be feeling. Can I eat it? Would be thinking. It's about four inches long. Would be about sensation. That would be good with a hot dog, would be the intuition. That's about how the uh, four psychological functions work. You see, extroversion and introversion, and the four psychological functions, these aspects, help you categorize your mind. Two times four, that means there is eight types total. Now, from the questions I asked you at the start of the lesson, you're an introverted sensing type. So many critics said this, to, many critics are said to be this personality type. As a warning, this is just a general tendency and does not explain a person in detail. This could be a good first step to analyzing the mind. However, it is pointless to rely on this as a guide to completely ignore the complexity of the human mind. I don't want you to get the wrong idea about these tests. With this type and theory, 
then you didn't want to merely split the mind in the categories, but to showcase its special properties. Specifically speaking, that the conscious and unconscious regulate each other through a method called compensation. The eight types are based on the conscious of that person, but that doesn't mean that a person can't also ha have other extroverted, introverted properties, or even psychological functions. They still exist in the conscious mind and don't just show up on the surface as much. For example, have you ever agreed with someone with your personality type that's just the opposite of yours? It's because the other traits that lie below your, your conscious are working to help you understand. You are using another power outside your personality literally unwittingly. The conscious and unconscious compensate for one another. I'll mention this again, so be sure to remember it. But still, human personality is an interesting subject. We tend to judge people based on the aspects of personalities that we see, but Jung tells us that, that, that doing that is bad. If you truly study the mind, it makes you a more benevolent person. Like me! <laughs> uh. Now then, looks like it's time. That's it for today. Basically, as he was saying there, uh, one of the more important aspects of that whole thing is the how do people look at those personality types. So, effectively, um, the Myers-Briggs test is a little bit more expanded version of this, you know, with the, um, the four letters that people sometimes put on their Twitter profile thinking that it makes them intellectual. It's not, but, you know, people can dream. And there's this, there's this sort of, like, lingering notion of, like, um, as, you know, like, as the, uh, it literally just said, like, oh, you're the, um, introverted analytical type. And I was like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and at, at the same time, like, um, ever since the pandemic kind of started, like, I've noticed that it's like, man, I really miss going out and, and being forced to interact with people, even though I'm this introverted type that doesn't want to be around others. It's like a lingering notion in your mind of, of, hey, introverts want to have a social aspect. And hey, extroverts like time uh, to gather their thoughts. You know, it's analytical brains sometimes like turning it off to enjoy the sights. And artists sometimes like to notice the corners that were cut. You know, it's... It's that sort of thing where psychology kind of goes into the realm of everyone likes to reach a perfect equilibrium, and once they hit that equilibrium, they're stuck, and they will never move. It's why a lot of people become dependent on, on their addictive, on addictive things because having that in their lives hit that, hits that equilibrium. You know, it's like, you know, drinking about like uh, three cans of alcohol a day is probably bad for you, but your mind tells you, but this makes you even out. And so the addiction sticks. Uh, stuff like that's so fascinating. It's why I kind of want to just deep dive into psychology every once in a while, but like, at the thanks phone. Uh, at the same time, I always feel like going too deep into things uh, gets into that armchair psychology sort of mentality where it's like someone starts talking to a friend about like uh, about like man, I I've been just worried about this, and then from across the room, someone comes running, going, "Ah, oh, yes, I can diagnose that mental problem you've got." <laughs> You know, that's never a good a good place to be. Well, either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. We're going to go spend time with Tower. 
going to have a uh, bit of a time doing that. We still got a few days left until we uh, hit the dungeon. I've got a bunch of videos to edit today. But the, the one for today isn't even out. It's like 5 in the morning. Either way, I'm going to see you guys... I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Uh, check out my um, my live streams. There's a link down below to it. And while you're down there, you can leave a like and comment. Tell, you if you, how, tell me how you feel about the story so far. Or like how you feel about like psychology or the nature of that since we just did that. Or the um, nature of depression, I guess. Either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow.